public health officials were telling us that, you know, we would have to look at taking these restrictions for six to eight weeks. <laughs> and then we, they said, then we'd have to continue to manage it, but, you know, there'd be kind of the, the really early on hard, you know, restrictions, six to eight weeks, and then uh, gradually loosen those up. And in fact, that was one of the things they told us is that you can't do it too soon because people will get fatigued. They will stop following your directions. So you have to try and time it when you think you're going to hit the, you know, peak of the pandemic. But of course, nobody knew that this was something that was going to go on for over a year at the time. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we've tried to strike a balance of slowing the spread of the virus. And again, one of the things that we did early on is say we're really focusing this on preserving our hospital capacity and making that our North Star. And so by using a very easy to understand, transparent measure like hospital capacity, we can communicate to Nebraskans how we're making decisions, the importance of, for example, using the tools we gave them with regard to slowing down the spread of the virus. And again, really trying to strike that balance between slowing down the spread of the virus and allowing people to live a more normal life. So as you know, we put in restrictions like the 10-person rule, yeah, well, that was March 13th, and uh, the other directed health measures. And then as our hospitalizations started coming down at the latter half of May and into June, we started relaxing those restrictions. And then of course, again, as we got into the fall, we saw our cases coming back up again with that whole Midwestern surge we started putting more restrictions on again. And then of course, as that's come down, we've taken those restrictions off. So really trying to tailor our response to what we were seeing with regard to those hospitalizations. And again, I think that has resulted in something that's been very successful for the state that has allowed us to again, provide that hospital bed, that ICU bed, that ventilator to anybody who's needed it when they needed it, working together collaboratively within health systems to be able to do that at times but then also allowing people to live a more normal life that's resulted in having the lowest unemployment rate for the last five months in a row in the country and also keeping our mortality rates down.